Alright, so welcome to my tutorial series, uh, more aimed at beginner-friendly type th uh, stuff. Uh, I'll eventually go over to uh, advanced related uh, tutorials, but right now I'm just going to just focus more on be beginner stuff since I've been getting a lot of comments here and there uh, asking about like how do I input uh, caliper, uh, caliber, um, how do I do shuffle, uh, how do I learn um, my character, how do, how do I learn combos and stuff like that. So I'm going to just break down things that I know um, for, for these questions. The first thing I'm going to go over is just caliber and shuffle. So uh, when you want to input caliber and shuffle, always be mindful of where you're facing towards the enemy. Um, and forwards is basically wherever the character is facing. So where I'm facing right now, uh, that's forwards, the character in, in general. And you notice that I'm moving the analog stick towards the enemy as I rotate the camera. That is considered forwards. Back is the opposite of that direction. So forward is facing towards the enemy. Back is the back facing uh, away from the enemy. Um, also note that you cannot input this move without locking on. If you try to, you want to be flailing around, screaming until the cows come home, and these cows won't go, uh, come home. So uh, you won't be able to input caliber unless you are locked on. And when you locked on, the timing is very lenient for both caliber and shuffle. Like there, like it is not very hard to do at all. You input back and then forward. And when you input forward, you also input the melee button. So, back forward, melee. And you can see how fast I'm really inputting it. And same thing for shuffle. There's really not much to it. Uh, it's very easy to do. Um, but that's where the meat and potatoes of Nero's gameplay is, is his caliber. That thing is his bread and butter. So when you want to input caliber um, in the air and then jump cancel it is kind of another story because uh, inputting it is one thing and jump canceling it is another thing because it can, go it can be a little tricky. Uh, luckily in DMC5 the hitbox is very generous so it's a little bit easier to do but it still can be kind of hard for newcomers to learn and pick this up. Uh, the distance for caliber ranges uh, for the jump cancel uh, window because his hitbox gets extended with his arm a bit and he kind of lunges forward as well. Now, note any time that you like are in the air in general, like you can just ca jump cancel. Like you can enemy step basically um, almost during any any uh, I guess move, at least most move. Um, so when you ca uh, when you jump cancel caliber, you want to make sure that like you're relatively close and you're at an appropriate height, so you're not overshooting it. Because if you overshoot it and you miss then you can jump cancel, but you won't hit the enemy. And in some cases, if you jump cancel too late, you won't be able to jump cancel at all either. So that will end up hitting the enemy and then knocking them to the ground. Uh, the best way that I've uh, practiced caliber jump canceling is I put the control not the controller, I put the camera in a 2D environment. So I kind of just face it so it looks like kind of like a 2d fighting game um and i have a better understanding of where nero is in relation to the enemy but if i have the camera kind of pointed as as this like just facing towards the, the enemy um it becomes a little bit harder for me to judge the distance between myself and the enemy so like if you're having trouble doing it this way uh, I suggest just practicing the timing from on the side view and see if you can get it. Uh, and because like doing it this way, I found to be much easier when I learned uh, how to jump cancel uh, caliber attacks because it 
it, it gives you a very clear picture on like where you are and how far you need to uh, how far you need to be to jump cancel um, caliber and for shuffle uh, it's you're, you're not really jump cancel you just kind of just do it but the back dash can be uh, either jump canceled which in this case means you can cancel it with a jump and um, you can also roll for a sidestep for DMC4, uh, they introduced these new uh, sidestep animation. So anytime that Nero has a weapon, like his weapon out, and, he, and then he dodges, he'll do the sidestep. So after a shuffle, you can just dodge. Or you can just jump. Now when you do this, it gives you movement because you kind of, you can like run around and run around and attack the enemy or whatever and use street to close in the distance but if you want to like like gain some distance you just do shuffle and then you jump away or you just roll uh, with sh shuffle also remember that there is uh, invulnerability invul invincibility frames <laughs> uh, for this move so during that back dash you can actually chain into side rolls or if you do uh, side rolling into uh, an enemy attack, you can actually do it so that you get table hopper. So that'll give you like three extra little little uh, dodges. Well, te technically, well, technically two, because you're you're doing one and then you got two other dodges. Uh, so for Nero in general, um, like I said, just. Practice. Try try getting the timing done um, right with just facing the camera at the side and just gauging your distance between yourself and the enemy. And then whenever you feel that you're in a r appropriate range for jump canceling, just play around with that range. Usually it's between like this range to close to where this dot is. Like the range is pretty pretty generous. Because you technically don't, like, enemy, uh, you technically don't even have, like, you don't need your feet, uh, to touch the enemy. Like, it's really, really generous in this game. But, uh, for right now, this is all I have for Caliber and Shuffle. Um, I will go over some other things, such as, like, movement for, for, for characters in general, like, mostly just Dante and Nero. V doesn't really have movement. Uh, he's more focused on just using his, uh, his his summons to basically do all the work. But he mostly teleports. Uh, he has some stuff with jump canceling and gambit and being able to teleport out of that. Um, but for the most part his, is, his movement is very like straightforward. Um, but if you have any questions or like anything that um, that you want to be, I guess, talked about, so like at least more expanded on, just let me know in the comment section. I'll try to get back with you as soon as I can. Um, but this is kind of more or less like I'm just kind of going off the cuff here and rambling on as uh, as I explain things. I might make this series more refined, but right now I'm I kind of just testing the waters to see what I can what I can do for, for this series but uh, thank you for watching I will probably make another video in the future uh, and I will see you all next time